G'day guys, Sammy X2 here. Today, just another short video going over the latest Rugby 24 news. Now, this one is pretty exciting, to be honest, as we are talking about our first new news that we have regarding licensing and features in the game. Now, when I last posted a video a few days ago, I talked about how Rugby 24 is now available for pre-order on various retail sites. And another retailer called Play.Asia Asia has recently released a listing for Rugby 24. And in the description, they also gave us some hints regarding international team licensing and a few other cool features. In the description, it says Rugby 24 players can choose from a wide selection of national and international teams, including popular rugby powerhouses like New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, England, and more. Each team is recreated featuring authentic player rosters, kits, and stadiums, further enhancing the game's realism. Now, if this is true, that means we may be getting a license New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, and England, which would be huge to have these four nations licensed. Now, another cool thing noted from that description is that it says authentic player rosters, kits, and stadiums. Now, this, in my opinion, is massive, as in Rugby 20 and Rugby 22, we had fake stadiums. And I know that isn't a massive feature for every single player, and it doesn't come to their mind straight away. But in my opinion, having real stadiums and recognizable venues, it is a great feature to have in a rugby and sports game in general. Now, I also have some more news regarding licensing. Um, when Rugby 24 was announced, a lot of people were wondering how there could possibly be 130 national teams in the game, especially considering World Rugby only has 114 full-time members. Well, not long ago, Big Ant Studios released a tweet where they are wishing luck to Lesotho Rugby in their upcoming qualifying tournament, and they tagged the official Rugby 24 Twitter account, and they put the Rugby 24 hashtag on the end there. Now, what I find really interesting about this is that Lesotho aren't full members with World Rugby. They are only associate members. And if that means Big Ant Studios are working with associate members on their game, it takes the possible list of licensed national teams to 132, as that is how many members World Rugby has when you include both full-time members and associate members. And this all perfectly matches up with Rugby 24's teaser tweet, where it says over 130 playable national teams. And another thing I would like to point out is that Big Ant Studios are also sponsors of Germany and Rwanda Rugby. So all in all, what we know now is that Rugby 24 might have 132 playable national teams, as that is how many members World Rugby has. And this all matches up with the original teaser trailer. And according to Play.Asia, we know that Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and England all might be licenses in the next upcoming Rugby 24 game. We also know that Germany, Lesotho, and Rwanda are all possible licensed nations due to their sponsorships with the developers, and that we will have real kits and stadiums in the rugby series for the first time. Thanks for watching all. Leave a comment on what your features you hope to see and what you are most excited for. Cheers.